my name is Michael Twist. I'm one of the park guides here. I'm an, inter I'm an interpretive ranger at Fort Vancouver. Right, sea biscuit is a staple here at Fort Vancouver. It is a dried biscuit, a, a type of bread that was made of flour and water. The sea biscuits, when they first come out of the oven, are going to be a little soft. And once they cool down to room temperature, they become very hard. It can be eaten as is. It's very, very bland. It's very hard. Uh, if you have good teeth, there's no problem with uh, chewing it up and eating it. It's, it's just flour and water. Uh, preferably, they would break it up and cook it in some sort of hot liquid. If they only had tea or coffee available, they would break the chunks up and let it soak in the coffee. Uh, if they had stew or soup of some sort, they would break it up, put it in there. Uh, and then once that soaks up the, uh, the moisture and the flavor of the uh, soup, it becomes almost like a dumpling type consistency, though it actually becomes very nice. Uh, you can also soak it in water and fry it in bacon grease. Uh, one of the uh, slang terms for that was muffles. You could also break it up and cook it in a frying pan with pork or beef, and that was called cracker hash. Or you could also soak it and you could fry it or bake it, put some sugar and butter on it, uh, or some preserves if you had it, and that would be known as dandy funk. So there were probably as many different ways of preparing sea biscuit as there were people eating sea biscuit. So it was it was around for a very very long time. People had a lot more time to think about things back then, and so anything they could do to improve their life in any little way, they would come up with clever little ways of preparing their sea biscuit just to uh, break up the monotony.